Fall. Yeah, we tried getting out to a car meet. We've organised a car meet for Russ and the other. As you can see, we're currently limping the uh, 240Z home. We've pretty much... I can't open the door at the moment, I'll show you in a second. Oh, so last night I took the car out to a girls only meet. The wheel almost came off. But today I then got rid of the spaces that caused the drama. The stud snapped on the spacer. So we've changed the spaces over and we've gone from 20 mil spaces down to like 15 mil spaces. But the problem was these wheels uh, have the valve on the inside of the wheel and have hit the brake caliper with the change of spaces and has now burst the freaking valve on the tyre. The tyre's gone flat and we are now running on dead flats trying to get the car home. Oh God. You're real. Oh, so much for car meat. Not fun. <laughs> Yay, girls. Let's get the jack. It's not worth carrying all that by hand. Cars need everything. It does when we own 21 of them. We own 21 or 23 now. Seeing you've uh, recently bought a Supra and a Subaru and whatever else. Why don't we take the V35? Oh, that's right. Uh, we didn't tell you about that. Uh, you know that stock daily that we bought to be a stock daily? It was an automatic V35 that shouldn't have anything wrong with it. Yeah, it's transmission decided to uh, just bite the bullet. It died. So um, its clutch packs were completely fried, something else. And that is now no longer viable as a daily, so that's why we've been throwing the Z around as a daily. But that didn't really work too well either. <laughs> Dailies and us don't go well. <laughs> yeah. So we are that low at the moment. So we're just hitting ground. We kind of got back to across, well, kind of near our house, enough that we could run back to the house and try and get some tools and some stuff. That is what we've done. Wow, the zoom on this new camera is crazy. I was stressing that I might have damaged Ben's wheels. Check this out. You would not, you would not believe how lucky we might have been with the arm Benjamin. Because I don't think it hit your wheel. It's literally, it's torn the lip. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, yeah. It tore the lip off the uh, bead of the tire and has protected the rim, but the tire itself is absolutely rooted. <sighs> All right, roadside, literal roadside tire change. Let's get it. Check out the carnage. Pretty much separated the tire from the wheel, and this was our culprit that smashed into the brakes. Didn't on the 31 and didn't on the other spaces, but just this particular setup. I don't know. Caused us some troubles. That was a good tire, too. That was annoying. Uh, we last minute salvaged the situation, kind of. We've got a. Uh, what are they? They're Euro lines, aren't they? Uh, Faco lines. Fake, <laughs> Faco lines? Fake Euro lines. My poor Z looks. Serbian lines. Serbian lines. <laughs> we finally have some form of uh, reattraction. The wheel's not falling off. And we have to get to the meet. We've got for uh, 50 minutes to get to somewhere that's an hour and 20 minutes away. 6.01. I'll tell you what time to get out the other side of the mountain. Wow, the sunset's beautiful. Seven guys, like you didn't do too bad. No, the Z didn't do too bad.
Oh, God, I can't get over the speed bump. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. I ain't got to get in the way. Just cut between them, then. Or just give it the scrape for anyone recording. Right, It'll right, make right. the good footage. Hey, Benjamin. Hello. 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 Hey, man. No, no, we're fine. <laughs> Definitely high. Yes. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. 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 Oh, fuck, fuck,
Like usually they'll come, there's just like a bunch of like 240s or whatever, but like there's every single car is different in the row, you know? So yeah, yeah. You even got a Lotus over there. Yeah, I was just checking out the Lotus. <laughs> got Supras. Yeah. Ghettos. S15s. Whoa, even what else 370s. Okay, just because you're obviously a Rasa Miata, MX-5s are your thing, what do you think of the, uh, the hard top on the back the of that? The Yeah. I love the fast packs. they're sick. I want one, they're just like kind of expensive. Oh man, like, what? It's kind of hard to like hold right, you know? Yeah, 100%. No, it's sick. What is I the price? These. Huh? What's the price for a hard top? Where are you from? When I first got into cars, I was buying hard tops for eight hundred dollars. Yeah. People are trying to get like two grand to like twenty three hundred bucks. Yeah, yeah. Which is pretty absurd. Like I sold a fake one for fourteen hundred. Wow. And it didn't even have the striker clips or anything. Oh. And there was a crack in the back window. I sold it for like fifteen hundred. Okay, cool. So it's not just us going crazy. No, no, about... everyone's going crazy. I think fastback ones. I mean, last time I saw them, I think they're like twenty eight hundred. Oh man. Which I guess now that hard tops are so expensive, it's pretty fair. But I'm yeah. sure these have gone up. I haven't. I've it looked in a couple of years. This thing's clean. Yeah, that's so bad, isn't it? Yeah, an S15, then a hatch. I love those. Yeah. I haven't really seen much Civics around here. There is a bit of a Honda scene around here. Yeah. Um, they kind of stick to themselves most of the time. Okay. Though. Cool. Yeah, it looks pretty good. We'll keep walking around because there's still plenty to see. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's go dig Will out of the uh, crowd and. Uh, <laughs> oh, should we leave him there? What do you reckon? I don't know. Where is he? <laughs> oh, he's in the crowd, huh? Yeah. yeah. This is Kira. Hi, Kira. <laughs> How are you going? I am it's good. Yeah, it's great turnout, isn't it? Again, big thank you to everyone that did rock up tonight. This is an awesome, awesome turnout. Great bunch of guys. That's like a robot. Oh, Chris, check it out. just like. That's a pain in the front. It looks like it's really smiling. Yeah. It looks so happy. <laughs> Yeah, you're good, I'm probably man. gonna, I'm probably gonna crash Luke's car. Sorry, Luke and <laughs> future Luke. I'm sorry for crashing your car, but you know, he, I, he's like, you want to stay for it? I'm like, well, I guess if you're offering, I can't say no. Bro, that'd be sick. Yeah, I think we need all the cameras. Man, this is cool. The guy who owned it was saying earlier, it's all polished. Oh, it's polished. It's polished. Wow. Damn. Guy loves so, stuff. This is sick. Lord knows how long it's been. Uh, yeah, they, look, they, look like, uh, they look so tough. So many Prima Grey cars tonight. That is just... It's all the Prima Greys. Do you like it? I very like it. It is very pretty. The effort that they put in for the guard work to the body. Oh yeah, I did notice that. That is fantastic body work. little baby radiator too. I guess the engine's so small, you don't really need a big radiator. It looks so tough. Look at the retrimming on the seats and stuff too. That is so cool. It's so clean. Wow. That's nuts. This is the owner. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, YouTube. Um, so, can you tell me a bit about the car? Uh, it's a A82 um, Corolla Seeker, a 1986 model. Originally had the 4 AGE motor in it. We've had it since yeah. the mid 90s, probably 94. Yeah. Kind of. Uh, it was my mum's car originally. That's awesome. Um, and then I got it off her, and uh, it's been actually had a bit of an interesting build. It's been, in, this motor's been in the car probably for about 13, 14 years. Um, it never ran. It was out of a A101 GTZ uh, import, half cut uh, import from, uh, from Japan, but it was uh, from Roland Imports on the Gold Coast, if you remember. Oh, sorry, yeah, no. Roland Imports. I do remember them, yeah. Yeah, it came from them, so it's got the E58 box, LSD, the shafts, that has been shortened and re spindled, um, XYZ, six pot front brakes, rear uh, four pot rear brakes with a hydraulic park brake. Yep. Um, it's Haltech ECU running it. The previous companies that were building it, I said you got a back last year it was essentially a wreck. I was yep. about to bin it. Wow. 
um, than the guys on the Gold Coast called K-Works Customs. Uh, Kevin Vinny. I was going to say, this looks like a K-Works, 100%. Yeah, that's their deal they there, right there. Absolutely, they need all they, the credit. They, yeah. They, look, it's an A86 kit, they made it work. I yeah. think I actually saw the build when they were building like all the custom body for you. So I'm like, I recognise all that. Because I've been I've been eyeing off some of K-Works work because I want to send yeah. him like, the 240 and stuff. Oh, absolutely. He does some beautiful stuff. Thank you. I know that wasn't intentional, but that was muchly help. Yes. That's sick, man. 240 at the wheels uh, on 15 pound at the moment. Hell yeah. Tuned by M1, Benny at M1. Yep, yep. yep. Um, yeah, so it's all, everything works, everything's good, everything's uh, since you bringing it back to an OEM sort of style, but with a bit of flair on it. It is beautiful. <laughs> hi, hi. Hey. I am so glad you brought it. Thank you so much for bringing Pleasure. it. Thanks, yeah, cheers. I hope you enjoy the meat, man. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Thanks a lot, Tom. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. Big shout out to K Works. Does some amazing bodywork. Z32, Subi. Check this out. This is either an S204 or 205. No, it is a 205. Oh, yes. Okay, this is a GT4 ST205 with factory wheels. That thing is sick. So there wasn't too many of these made. I don't know if it's the Carlos Sainz one, but that is so clean. I just can't believe I'm looking at factory wheels. <laughs> That's so cool. I love these things. These weigh about 1800 kilos. They are 3 inch GT turbo. Uh, and they were originally a rally car. Not this specific one, but obviously they were made to rally. They're kind of like the Subies and stuff. <laughs> oh dude, oh, wait, seriously, that's what my tie looked like this afternoon. Mm, <laughs> yes. You guys would know, you guys in the vlog. Yes. You can actually drive it, yeah? I can drive it, yeah. <laughs> you don't get in trouble. This is uh, Liam. That road is up. Yeah. <laughs> is this his 14? So yeah. It's, I like it's, the shirt. It's, it's, it's nice drive. Very beautiful car. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You gotta, you gotta pop a hood. Yeah, you can't. There we go. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Benke. Hello. What you doing? You kind of look scary there. Oh, well, I am a bit. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> now we just need lights. Benjamin stole my phone. That's airplane mode. Whoops. Uh, what's it running at the moment? Uh, 530. 530 horse? Yeah. Excellent. I'm just a shit driver. Cowabunga. <laughs> Top and everything. Yeah. yeah it's this has been Liam's pride and joy for how many years now? Like what, four or five years? Eight years. Eight years. Eight years. Dude, is it eight years? Oh my eight god. Years. Yeah. Yeah. Bought it on my P's. Had it since I was 18. <laughs> I had a That's awesome, man. This is where we're at. Yeah, I had a Ha! No! <laughs> <laughs> this is Josh. Josh is my friend from Sydney. He owns a really crazy looking 14 with massive drag tires. I think his wheels are bigger than half my car. <laughs> nice. Tires shirt. Very cool. The boy. Oh, yeah. Dude, Dude, I feel like I fell back in the 90s. It's great. <laughs> it was probably going to be 1112. I wanted it in three. I've always hit. I love the two point turns that Evo's got to do to get around this corner. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> 
people are just tripping out on that. Why are they doing that? And I'm like, oh, that's right, all-wheel drive. They probably don't have the lock. 2.10? Yep. Oh, will he make it? Will he make it? <laughs> this is great. <laughs> oh, there's another one. Yeah, he's gone real high up. He's, um, he's like, make it. No 2.7 with yeah, this one. This guy's good. No, it's been resprayed, fully resprayed. Fully resprayed? Yeah. Dude, it looks bloody beautiful. Yeah. You guys, you may or may not have met Charles before. This is Charles. Hi. Charles usually runs Hot Wheels stands at the meets. But, so you just had a full resprayed? Yeah. Dude, that is mint. Uh, it's looking mint, Charles. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh man, yeah, no, I'm gonna get my FD out. That'd be sick. Did you have a good night, man? Yeah, yeah, it was good. Ooh, man, it's Aston must be out. It's gone. So we had police come through earlier just to check it out. I think they were starting shift and they came in. Do you know, the cops came in and they get, they burned me, man. They're like, oh, um, who runs this? I'm like, oh, that's, that's me, you know, this is, this is our group. And he's like, um, oh, we just came in to see any cool cars, but there's none here. I'm like, oh! They're probably the same ones up at the Bunnings. See, bro? Right? Yeah. Wait, man, cool cops. Yeah. There's been a few cool cops around. Like I was, I meet last night over at Bunnings Capera, and they were cool. They were cool. Maybe it's a change of tide, but I say that, and we're probably just going to get railed. You watch. We'll be like, yeah, no, they're cool, and then they'll lo they lure us into a false sense of security, and then everyone will just get railed. Railed for too low, too loud. Anything. They'll get railed for having, I don't know, aftermarket windscreen wipers. <laughs> Hi, Wonders. Uh, ben K brought his, uh, his car. This literally just came to the meet. <laughs> Commitment, Ben K. Commitment. He did actually bring it because he's dropping it off at our house later. <laughs> We're going to reshell his C33 Laurel for him. Aren't we, Ben K? Hi. I said the reason you brought this to a meet is because we're going to reshell it for you. Yes. <laughs> My laurel is going into this. Yeah, yeah. And then this will be beautiful again. And then I will have a drift car. <laughs> you have a um, potential street car too. Oh, potentially, yes. Yes, it does have clean tag. Clean tags, just not such a clean body. No, but we can fix that. Yeah. All right, that is it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the meet and the night and checking out stuff. <laughs> Hanging with Erotic. I'll catch you guys next time.